Uh, we don't have the 4 GB version, uh, which has a faster processor as well. We've got the slightly lower end ASUS Zenfone 2 ZE 550ML. Now, the basic specifications remain almost the same across the board. As you can see, this has a 5.5 inch display with a resolution of 720p. You might feel that this is slightly, um, well, not really up to date given that ASUS also has a model with a full HD screen, but we found that the screen to be quite good. The brightness levels are great, so is the contrast ratio and the uh, viewing angles. Sure, it could be slightly more crisp, but nothing really much to complain about. Below that, you'll get three capacitive buttons which correspond to back, home and the multitasking key. Now, since this phone is running on Android Lollipop, you do get the latest version of Android Hair. It's got a light skin on board which has been developed by ASUS. So let's take a quick uh, hardware overview then. Over at the bottom, you'll find the micro USB port, while the top sports the 3.5mm audio jack as well as the power button. You'll find that there's nothing much going on on the sides of the phone. And that's because, like LG, ASUS has also integrated its volume rocker over at the back panel itself. It's located at the back right below the camera module and the dual LED flash, which is now a true tone flash, is placed right above the camera module. The back cover is removable, so let's see how that works. Opening it up, you see that there is uh, support for a micro SD card slot for expansion. There are also two SIM card slots, but 3G is supported only on one of them. This first SIM card slot also supports LTE, so you're covered in that case as well. Now let's take a look at the internals. As you'll remember, the ASUS Zenfone 5 was powered by an Intel chipset. So is the case with the Zenfone 2 as well. This is powered by an Intel Atom Z3560 processor powered, uh, clocked at 1.83 GHz. It also has 2 GB of RAM. And the phone will come in two variants. Uh, one of them will have 16 GB of built-in storage and the other will have 32 GB. I'm assuming we'll probably get only the 16 GB version in India, but I'd love to be proven wrong. In addition to that, there's a lot of enhancements all around on the connectivity front. You get Wi-Fi 802.11 AC, as well as Wi-Fi Direct support. There's of course Bluetooth 4.0 and GPS, GLONASS, the usual range of connectivity features. The, fo uh, the phone has a 13 megapixel camera module at the back, and this is an improvement over the 8 megapixel sensor you saw in the previous generation device. It still has the enhancements built in for low light photography where uh, the camera basically just boosts up the exposure to be honest. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel module and this is a 3000 mAh non-replaceable battery built into this device. The Zenfone 2 will ship in a range of colors and um, on a brief impression so far, we find it to be quite an interesting upgrade over the first generation device. While the build is still predominantly plastic, it feels very good when held. Uh, we find that the shift of volume rocker to the back is both in some ways good and kind of bad as well. The position of the volume rocker isn't really very conducive for reaching out. You do end up trying to tap onto the camera module too often. That said, it is an um, interesting shift. It's a nice shift and it allows uh, ASUS to make the phone slimmer still. The yes, ASUS Zenfone 2 will be making its way to India relatively soon and we'll have more on it when we get the full review retail device with us. For the moment though, if you have any questions at all about the ASUS Zenfone 2 or any other handset from Mobile World Congress, please do let us know in the comment section right below this video. If you enjoyed it, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This was Rogh Bhutani from the Mobile World Congress. Thanks for watching.